Hey guys, it's Andy Son here. I discovered this uh, neat little uh, thing. It's, uh, it's not really a bike path or anything. I don't really know what to call it, but uh, here, check it out. It's really nice. Uh, apparently, it's a little shortcut from my house to the bike path. See uh, my bike right there. And uh, see past that little tree, it's a guardrail. Just uh, go over that and uh, pretty much home free. Yeah, I decided to do things the hard way. I decided to like put my bike over that guardrail, but I looked closer and there's a tiny little path that I could have just segged the bike through. But no, I like to do things the hard way. I really do like this area. Sure, it's got the cars in the background, but I mean, it's not so bad. It's nice, uh, scenic. Best of all, no distractions, at least by people anyway. It's a nice little uh, fish flopping around in the background. That's pretty cool. So uh, anyway, I'm uh, making this vlog to talk about a uh, potential uh, new site to uh, build me income. I just came up with the idea, so I don't have any, I haven't, I don't have any names for it just yet. It's uh, basically going to be like a uh, learning to draw website. The whole catch with this is I pretty much know nothing about drawing. Well, I mean, I used to doodle and trace things and I was pretty good, but that was back in like junior high. This website will be a learning experience for, uh, you know, people starting out learning how to draw as well as uh, for myself. You know, I might get like a couple books, look up some things online, you know, learn to draw like heads or something like that because I made a vlog a while back about a, about a writing, you know, doing like some light novel or uh, some manga and uh, one of the things that kind of uh, stopped me from doing that was uh, the whole situation with Walmart it was just you know I never didn't really like working there it was sapping my creativity I don't know I couldn't really you know write any of that I decided to take you know a big step and a big risk in uh, quitting Walmart and uh, it's definitely paid off for me I mean I feel you know a whole lot better I think like the first week since I quit Walmart you know I was just feeling great but then you know the whole uh, like what am I going to do now thing kind of came into play. Not just for money, but just, you know, doing something in general. So I began to feel a little bit depressed. You know, I'm starting to kind of build momentum back up again. I'm not entirely, you know, 100% happy. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I was trying, I was uh, brainstorming uh, through these different uh, means of making uh, income without actually having to, you know, clock in and clock out like, you know, a normal 9-to-5 job. I was uh, brainstorming, you know, things like the shred.com, which would be, you know, a shred guitar oriented website, brainstorming a spicy melon, an anime review website, a guitar review website, like with, you know, guitar gear and things like that. There's a couple, you know, hit or misses, but I think starting off, it would be uh, in my best interest to uh, do uh, the uh, drawing website because there's just a much higher demand and a, a lower supply, which is what I want because since I don't have the money for like a super ridiculous uh, ad campaigns and I'm not really well known yet, I think that you know, something with a, a high demand but a low supply would be really beneficial to me because it'll allow, you know, the little guy to sneak in and uh, make some money. Now, how will I make money through this? Well, pretty much the same way I'll make money from, you know, any and all of my sites, really. I mean, it's, it's, it's that's kind of the beauty of it is that the whole uh, monetizing a strategy is virtually the same. It's just, you know, you just change the subject. Uh, for drawing, for instance, I could do joint ventures with, uh, I don't know, publishing companies that do uh, how to draw books, you know, that either I buy and think they're really good or, you know, what have you, or maybe like drawing supplies or like a drawing supplier. That would be, you know, an interesting thing. And uh, of course, you know, the whole selling advertisement space, you know, the whole pay-per-click sort of deal, donations. That's pretty much basically my, my holy trinity for uh, making money online. There are other means to make money, not just directly from the site. I mean, I could sell products, but I never really thought of myself as like a product seller per se. I didn't want to make a, you know, a physical product or even like a digital one in a sense to where people would buy it. I've, I've kind of gone through, you know, the whole Steve Pavlina sort of way of selling things. You know, if you want to sell one book, you got to sell 20 for free. 
And, you know, I've heard a couple other bloggers, you know, do similar things to Steve, but Steve is, you know, the most uh, prolific out of all those. I've been uh, definitely subscribing to a lot of uh, self, self-help self people as of late, and uh, I've been commenting a lot on that on uh, their blogs, which is uh, generating me traffic, and uh, also got a couple emails from uh, readers, not just uh, publishers of blogs, but also a couple, you know, readers. And, you know, it's really inspiring me to actually go through with this. So I definitely feel I made the right decision in quitting Walmart. Although, you know, some days I'm just kind of bored and I feel like I'm not really making any kind of progress. You know, I just, I go to my email. I, you know, every once in a while I get an email, like I said, from a reader or whoever saying, you know, I think it's really cool that you decided to, you know, quit your job and pursue something online. Also, I've noticed greatly that my uh, income from ads and things like that from uh, theandysound.com has increased. You know, I'm not rolling in the dough or anything like that, but I've definitely noticed a big change. You know, people are clicking on my ads more. There are more people going to my sites. I've gotten, I think, maybe like a total of uh, less than 10 bucks just in like the last two weeks just from like quitting Walmart and trying to pursue something online. So yeah, it's not much and it probably won't, you know, get the job done or anything like that, but it's definitely a sign that says, you know, hey, you might be onto something here. (laughs) I feel really confident in uh, pursuing something online, like I said before. (laughs) I'm just, right now, I'm kind of just brainstorming through a bunch of various ideas. First went through, you know, revamping Spicy Melon, but the reason I didn't really go through that is uh, not just because there's not, you know, there isn't a high demand and a low supply for things like that that there is it's just my vision of spicy melon is of a social network and i really don't want to spend all that time uh, coding and uh, things like that for a social network so i'll need to outsource it but a lot of the outsourcers uh, want a thousand to like 1500 just to you know build the site obviously you know i do have most of the money, but I feel that it would be in my best interest to uh, make you know another source of income online before I plunk down all that money because that's just building me the site. That's not marketing it. That's not doing any kind of online campaigns or anything like that. That's just you know here's the site. There you go, thousand bucks, please. I feel that you know I should try a different avenue. So I uh, decided to do the whole thing with you know the shred.com and uh, you know anime reviews, which uh, I looked up online and there's not really that much of a demand for something like that. I mean, there's a high enough supply, but the demand is fairly low. I mean, unless you're getting into, like, specific anime, you know, like, I mean, like, Naruto or Bleach or something like that, then it's fairly high, but, I mean, it's not like, you know, oh, my God, I better start a site right now high. Now, Shred Guitar, that actually kind of surprised me just because, you know, it's kind of a subgenre of guitar. I thought just, you know, the guitar by itself would, uh, you know, draw something. I mean, besides, you know, guitar tabs and maybe like Guitar Hero or something like that, you know, there wasn't anything too high, but typing in Shred Guitar got, you know, a fairly good response. It wasn't, you know, as tremendous as drawing, which I'll get into later, but it was, you know, high enough to where, you know, hey, I'm, I might be onto something here. I'm not going to start the shred.com yet. Like I said before, I'm going to start off with uh, this uh, learning how to draw website, which will seg in nicely with uh, making my own uh, manga, because the reason I wanted to do light novels in the first place is because, you know, I couldn't draw. You know, before I was thinking about, oh, maybe I could collaborate with an artist, you know, someone who knows how to draw, you know, manga style, and just have him draw, then I'll do all the writing, and, you know, we'll go from there. But, I don't know, it's just, I don't want to have to, you know, hire somebody. I mean, what if, you know, he or she doesn't want to work on my project anymore and I have to hire a new artist and, you know, the fanboys are all in an uproar because, oh my god, artists change. I figure, you know, maybe I'll just, you know, do it myself. But, you know, I I haven't real I don't, I, I can't draw. Bleh. <laughs> That's why I decided, you know, I wanted to do light novels. But I don't know, I'm still kind of drawn towards, you know, manga style. It's just, it's, you can express, you know, so many and so little things with, you know, two pages and you can with just, you know, a whole bunch of text. It's really nice and it'll be a good learning experience for me, which, you know, hopefully will present some kind of value to others. So I hope this will work out. Um, this video is kind of getting a little long. So uh, I, I think we'll just wrap it up. This is the Andy San and his nice little uh, locale that I, that he thinks that he'll be uh, blogging from. Uh, let me just redo that. This is the Andy San signing off. You guys have an excellent day. Bye now.